Good evening. Today's video, we're going to go over security, and uh, this is a very good article by Frank Nymphius. Um, he works for Oracle. He's very active on the or uh, Oracle ADF forums, and he wrote this article on um, how to use security. And we're going to use his application simply because it's um, very well um, defined. Now, um, he has, this is the, the, um, the application, and it explains how to define, how to um, d download it in the video. And let's just go over it in this quickly. Um, here is the model and view controller. And he actually includes this. And in, in his article, he says that he would actually package this. And it is packaged. And if you go over to the view controller, and we go to libraries and class paths, and then AD f library and edit you can see that he has made reference to the jar um, so it's there sitting there so you can actually just take a look at it but he basically imports it into the application uh, so he can use it and it is the employee edit um, page flow perhaps i'm not sure where it is ex exactly um, at any rate that's not important to uh, what we're doing this morning but you can see here that we have the home page and on the home page uh, basically up in the upper left hand corner is a login logout script home <coughs> tabs and these are regions and um, you can click on the region and we have properties it's not giving us a property i guess there's no property there because there's no it's just an image um, this, of course, is a region, as you can see here. This is a region. And uh, within this region, it looks like there's another region here. So, um, oh, here we are. Now we go to Employee Search. And you can see that that's there. And this one is for managers only. And um, I'll have to see what's what's in there when we log in as a manager. Okay, so let's go and um, look at application security. Now, uh, configure ADF security is re-entrant, which means that you can run it and you're not going to change anything. He uses basic authentication. Most likely when you do an application, you're going to do form-based authentication. You can generate uh, the web pages for you, although they will be simple HTML pages. And um, <clears throat> you probably actually want to take the scripts that are in the logout and log in in the upper left hand corner here of the template I believe and manipulate those for your own purposes so uh, no automatic grants are granted which is probably the best thing to do and if you want you can have that although as you can see the main page is where we start and uh, there's no reason to redirect to another page okay so this is just a summary <clears throat> now if we go to the application roles um, we have users these three users and you would put the password here I change everything to welcome one um, simply because I don't remember anything other there's so many passwords in the world we have enterprise groups we have three of them and we have application roles okay we also have well, enterprise roles application roles and users and then we also have resource grants um, you have the choice of choosing between here. I would assume that you'd probably just want to keep that is. Now, the way to use this is you click on it, and you can see now all of the web pages. And in this application, it's very important that you uh, click on here, and probably they should include this by default, I would think, because you have an extra couple of web pages that are actually shown. Now, the key here, um, if we take these off by clicking on them, they're toggles. So um, these are going to show all of the um, and if you put resources without any grants, and these are our resources with grants. And uh, this one is show pages including a bounded task flow. Now you'll notice that uh, none of these have uh, grants to them. This one does, and it's granted to the anonymous role. And obviously, when you log in, you want to be able to see the page. So when you're anonymous, this is okay. None of the other web pages do that. And they do that because 
they do it at the task flow level. And again, if you notice here, the edit uh, library, which is an import of that jar I mentioned at the very beginning of a jar that's created from this project here. Um, <clears throat> this is part of it, and you can now see who it's granted to. And we'll just go through here and, and see. This appears to be um, uneditable. And um, so this one also. Um, now, he also has entitlement grants. We won't be going over that. Uh, I just wanted to show you that, in fact, they're here. And uh, the basic gist of it is, is that um, from what I gather, and it's interesting because certain materials I've seen say that the uh, enterprise role, let's go back, is optional. And um, he says that application roles can be granted directly to users, but this practice is rare and is not considered good programming design. So um, in the Fusion Middleware documentation, I've read that enterprise roles are optional. So uh, it is interesting just uh, the different information that you get. So let me summarize what my take is on the information here. OK, first, you create your users, application roles, and enterprise roles. Two, you grant. And based on what Frank's saying, you would uh, not grant users to application roles, or vice versa, application roles to users. But you would grant resources to application roles. And you would grant users to enterprise roles. And you would grant application roles to use, or to enterprise roles. OK, so I know it's kind of a um, headful. Um, but uh, the article explains a little bit why they do that. They want to um, kind of make it uh, loose coupled so that you don't have direct roles assigned to people. And it, it does make sense. And most likely it'll make more sense when you deploy to web logic. Okay, so that's basically what I wanted to go over. It's, it's an overview. I didn't tell you how to do it. Um, but I hope I explained a little bit about um, Frank's article and the major gist of um, some of the details to it and um, how to negotiate this screen a little bit, uh, more or less. And um, by the way, here you can see that we have the roles, enterprise roles assigned to the people, not the application roles. All right. Um, have a good evening.